Like, I really hope that you'd still be awake. I wish I could have seen you today. Good night. Love you so much. Oh, sorry. I meant purpose me. <laughs> oh, I just want to say good night. Yeah, Bert. Happy early Thursday throwback. Oh, wait. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and gas out here, 105, boo. And this rain is just rain, rain, rain all day. But that's good. Let it wash out the sin of Halloween. Just joking. <laughs> hey, mister. Love you. Good night. If you reply to this DBM message, bye. All right, I love you very much. Good night. It was a lovely evening. Hey, it's Crystal. It's 207 in the morning. Oh, I love you. I miss you. The Man Troy. You know, T-H-E-E. The Man Troy. Love you. I love me, Crystal. Uh, so, I met Crystal um, at a play called Pieces of Me. I took the gig. Uh, not knowing what to expect, you know, I, I love doing musicals, I love musicals, so I thought it would be an awesome opportunity, but little did I know, you know, it would be a life-changing opportunity for me. You know, I went to the rehearsals, and then out of nowhere, this beautiful woman just came up to me, she was like, hi, how are you? And I'm like, um, I'm fine. She was just amazing, she had this bright exuberance about her, she was just so um, bubbly and like, <laughs> Beautiful to look at, I can't, I can't lie. Um, and then uh, we had the rehearsal, had a little mini joke in there because, um, you know, there's a scene in the play where she's supposed to, like, shout out the man, and um, she had to learn all of our names, but she hadn't quite learned our names by that point, so um, I guess she sort of recalled that my name started with T, so she's like, uh, we got Robert Chambers on first keys, and then we got, uh, Tyrone <laughs> on second keys and I'm like um yeah not cool <laughs> but you know what actually it was the beginning of something beautiful because throughout the play that was our running joke um, I added her on Facebook and then um, <laughs> that was the running joke she was the narrator and I was Tyrone um, but you know little did we know that we grow from there one of our favorite places to hang out in the beginning was uh, a place called snakes and lattes now, picture like a restaurant slash lounge that has every board game that you can think of from like Connect Four to Scrabble, Hungry Hungry Hippos to Pictionary. They got everything that you could, you could ever want. I remember one time we went there, we couldn't get in, and we ended up going on a little adventure. We started, uh, we walked down the street, we went to a record store that wasn't too far, and uh, it was actually pretty interesting. We saw some. You know, stuff you never heard of, <laughs> and you know, some stuff. I think Crystal knew some stuff in there because she knows old music like that. We uh, we went to Long McQuay, we went to a video store, we just we got a lot of cardio that day. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, this is she, <laughs> I think Crystal is one of the most quirky yet lovable human beings I've ever encountered. I mean, like, even our arguments are fun. <laughs> so we could be arguing about stuff like IHOP or. There's no way I can have all of this detail. There's no way. Like, where where would this come from? You made it up. No one makes this up. No <laughs> one makes this up. Why would I make up IHOP at St. Catherine's? That makes no sense. Okay, why would I go to IHOP at like two o'clock in the afternoon? What? Should we go like late? Because because we're on the whole tip about breakfast for dinner. What? Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just be funny yet serious, kind of, sort of. But it's hilarious. Um, you know, the one thing I love about her is that she, she knows how to have fun. You know, whether it be some spontaneous video or just, you know, just hanging out, you know, just hanging out, just having, making jokes. So if someone were to ask me, how do I know that she's the one? I just say, because I know that the Lord placed her in my life. You know, I've seen the evidence of this. I've seen how having her in my life has changed me, how having her in my life has caused me to do better, to want more, to strive to be better. Um, and then I just look at the way 
you know, I feel when I'm around her. You know, the, the way I think when I'm around her. Part of the relationship to me is um, respect and love you know because if you have a person and you don't respect them it does not make sense you live with that person so I always teach you guys to respect each other to me that's the most important I believe the most important part of relationship is having um, trust in the relationship um, at least it's one of the most important things. Love is there because you know there's the attraction and there's love but to maintain that you know it's just, it's sustained by a lot of other things and trust being one of them one of one of the most important things I believe. Communication if I go back in the scripture from scripture Genesis communication was there he spoke so speaking communicating is so very important. As you know, I've been seeing your daughter for several months, more than several months now. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest, it's been, you know, a wonderful portion of our time of my life, I think. Best thing about it is that we push each other. We're not complacent with where we are. We always look to see how can we get each other better. How can we, mm -hmm. you know, get closer? And um, you know, without forgetting that the foundation and the basis of our relationship is, a, you know, Jesus Christ. So, um, you know, again, why am I here in your kitchen? <laughs> so, you know, I, I, as I told you before, I don't believe in just dating for the sake of dating. I don't believe in um, you know, wasting people's time. What I believe in is that when you find someone that you're interested in, you start asking the right questions. Once you get the answers that you're looking for, then the, the solution should be pretty obvious. The next step should be pretty obvious. I'm here because I'd like to ask your permission and your blessing to marry mm -hmm. your daughter, Crystal Neal. Yeah, we're definitely pleased. Definitely. Well, I have to think about it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just kidding. Crystal told us about you for, you know, quite some time and uh, mm -hmm. how long you've been, you guys have been going together, how serious you have been, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the seriousness of your commitment to each other. Mm -hmm. and to have a relationship mm -hmm. not just just something that uh, not doesn't look forward to the future mm -hmm. so that we expected that at some point in time whether sooner or later that uh, this question would be uh, posed to us so we had our answer yes yes <laughs> <laughs> yes yes Fantastic. And, uh, uh, we, we thank God that you have uh, made this decision. We think it's the best decision that you can make, that any young man can make, you know, uh, rather than having a girl, you know, on the, uh, on the limb. <laughs> it, you know, she needs to yeah. have some assurance, you know, where is this it's relationship going? going? Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's a good move. So we have no objection to release our daughter to you. And we pray with much blessings and, uh, upon the two of you as you go forward with the relationship. I would like to present your daughter with not just a token of my affection, but the symbol of the promise I'm making to her. And before I do that, I'm truly appreciative. Thank you a million 
if you bless this token for me. And um, good luck with Absolutely. Absolutely. It is our pleasure to do that. We release your blessings upon them, Father. We speak it, we declare it over their lives, over their plans, and over everything, so God, that they put their hands to do. We pray that they will prosper. Yes, we command your blessings and your favor to be upon them right now. Yes, Bless the stream, O oh God, that is as is given to Crystal as a symbol of his love for her and his intent. Thank you for him. Thank you for the family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey Crystal. So there's someone waiting for you outside right now. They're going to give you an envelope. I want you to open it and follow the instructions inside. And I'll probably be seeing you soon.